Hey there everyone, my name is Mitchell Plyler, and I had posted up about my Cordoba Mini-O on Reddit, uh, I'm not even sure how long ago it was, but I, get, I did get a message from someone, and they had a few questions, and I figured it'd be easy to make a, to make a video for this. So, I'm going to read you the question, and then I'll kind of discuss, you know, what I think of the guitar as a whole, as well as try to address some of the questions that they have, uh, because they are relevant. Uh, so, I'll just read it here. So, user J underscore last name. Hey, I saw your post about the Cordoba Mini O. I've been looking at purchasing one and have a couple of questions if you don't mind answering them. What are your general impressions? So that's the first question. So, my general impression is I really like the guitar. I believe it's solidly built. Um, I've been traveling with it for four weeks so I've been throwing it in an overhead, throwing it around with my bag. Um, haven't had any issues. Um, so one, one of the next questions is without a truss rod, tr ugh, excuse me, without a truss rod I worry that the neck could warp. Um, I haven't had any issues with that with warping. I don't think that will be an issue just because of it's a nylon string guitar. Um, it is tuned A to A. Um, thinking of that another question is how's the action? Uh, tuned A to A, it's fine if you were going to tune it down to E. I know that Cordoba has some mini O strings that are made for E. I don't know if I'd even want to try that, uh, just because I believe the action might just be way too loose at that point. So I would say stick to the A to A, but for the sake of this, if you're trying to learn a guitar or just play, A to A is fantastic. So I wouldn't worry about the E to E unless you just really had to have an E. Um, so I've not had any issues with it. So when it comes to uh, the next question, which is intonation, um, there is a little bit of... There might be a little bit of uh, buzz, but nothing I'm going to really concern myself with. This isn't a guitar I would perform with. Um, you may want to perform with it, but again, it may be, it's a little different with your fingers versus a pick. I had a pick earlier, so... So, you know, with your fingers, the intonation is probably a little bit better just because you're not putting as much force onto the strings to then get those, uh, that fret buzzing. So, tuning. Tuning's a big question. So, again, I've been throwing it around. Um, the first few days, I would say, of heavy play, it didn't stay in tune, but that's kind of like any guitar. So, once I got it to where, you know, it was broken in, broken in, so to speak, um, I haven't had any issues with the tuning. Right now, it might not be perfectly in tune, just because I've kind of been tuning by ear, string to string. So it may not be exactly A to A. It's probably a little flat A to A. But as a whole, it does maintain its tuning. Uh, so that's not something I would worry about. And for a approximately $200 guitar for travel, it's a great purchase. Um, so I'll let you hear it a little bit. I'll just play a few chords and notes and then... Uh, I'll let you make your own opinion, so I hope this helps. that helped a little bit. Uh, I'm not the best player in the world, but I think it could give you a good example of, you know, what this guitar can do, how it sounds. Uh, I trust it. I don't mind, you know, flipping it around and messing with it. It's, it's light, no problems. So, um, give it a shot, man. I like it. I've, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it, I guess, as the country song goes. But uh, I highly recommend it. 
Um, so go for it. Have a good day.